Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riley. I am a hairstylist in California and today I'm gonna be taking you along my day in the salon. It is currently 8.41, I work at nine. I just parked and I got a parking permit because I have gotten a couple parking tickets and I'm over it so I decided to renew my parking permit which I should have done a long time ago. Today is actually Friday and yesterday I had the day off so it feels like a Monday to me which is not always fun but also better that it it is Friday then Monday yesterday I got my hair done as most of you guys know I have extensions and I actually took one row out so I just have one row kind of just for more thickness and fullness and then I cut it to just my natural length we also just refreshed my color a little bit I really like the rooted and like dimensional look I feel like this is gonna be really fun for the springtime I don't know I'm not very picky about my hair and I'm really really indecisive I kind of just let her do whatever she wants so anyways I'm about to head into work yeah it's it's gonna be a really good day and I'm really excited about it. Alright guys, so this is the first client of the day. She is just an every 12 week highlight appointment. She's naturally about a level 5'6 and likes to be super bright blonde. So I am using Wella Blondeur with a mixture of 10 and 20 volume to make 15 volume. Because she has a little bit of a darker root, I like to use a little bit of 20 volume to give it that kick. I would definitely say if you're a new hairstylist or still in school to start with 10 volume and work your way up to 20 just so you have a little bit more insurance. So I am starting on the hairline. Also, I would like to apologize for the lighting. It was early in the morning and we have some pretty big windows, so I just can't really control that, unfortunately. But I like to do a really detailed hairline because I know she wears her hair up for things like work. So I like to detail her hairline, make it look really seamless and blonde and blended. So that is what I am working on now. As far as my sectioning, I like to do a few foils around the hairline and then I go up horizontally as much as the hair will allow me to. So once the head gets too wide for me to go horizontally, I will switch into two sections and go up that way. Depending on how much depth they want, I will leave more of the middle section of the back of the head out. But she wanted to be really blonde, so I did foil her pretty heavy. Once the two sections meet at the top, I will do a triangle from there in the crown of the head. Keep in mind, this is still the back of the head. If you guys want me to do a whole video on placement I totally can just comment that down below So this is what her head looks like completely foiled. As you can see, there are a lot of foils. I think this took me about an hour and a half, but so, so incredibly worth it. So while she's processing, I usually just clean up my stuff. I get water, maybe a snack. I respond to all my Instagram DMs. Sometimes I post on Instagram, all that stuff behind the scenes of the business. Once I see that she's ready to rinse, I take her over to the shampoo bowl and I am pulling her foils. As you can see, she lifted to a level 910, super, super beautiful. So I am just rinsing her, shampooing her, of course, and I apply Olaplex to her ends, which is what you're seeing me do now. 
So I am rooting her with L'Oreal Dialyte 7N and this was actually my very first time using this. I have so many friends that use this and that love it. So I decided to give it a shot. I knew it would turn out beautiful because I've actually had it done on my hair before. This stuff applies so, so nicely and I'm just doing a little bit of a shadow root. So dragging it down about an inch past where I put those highlights in. Because she likes to go 10 to 12 weeks without her getting her hair done, this is gonna make it a little bit of a softer grow out. I am working on a video all about rooting, the difference between shadowing, melting, root tapping. So stay tuned for that one coming soon. tone her ends, I am using the lovely Redken Shade ZQ 9V10P. The 9V is going to cancel out any of the yellow tones because he does want to be nice and bright, and the P is going to cancel out any warmth. This is our final product, a super nice and bright blended blonde. It literally turned out so beautiful, so seamless. I am obsessed. So this is my second client. She is one of my favorite heads to work on. She really loves that beachy lived in look. So she actually wanted to add a low light. So I'm using Redken Shades EQ 7N 7GB because I wanted it to be really rich. And then I'm also using some Swatchcloth Blonde Me to bring up some highlights. So as you can see, I am starting with the hairline once again, but this time because we are going more lived in, I'm keeping it off the root, feathering it all up, making it look super blended and beautiful. I'm definitely gonna make an Instagram reel about this color. So if you want to see more of the low lighting and placement, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. So at this point, she is all processed, the low light process for 25 minutes, and the highlight was probably done within 30, so all around the same timing. I am pulling her foils out, rinsing her color, and I am untangling the tease. So I do tease when I teasy light and do my more lived in looks, and I get a lot of questions on how I untangle it. Honestly, I just use Olaplex, and it makes it really easy. I am rooting her with Redken Shades EQ 7N. Honestly, she didn't really need the root. Lived in color is designed, so it doesn't really need one but this is just to ensure that it's all gonna blend together super seamlessly and I like to do a tiny little tap on the money piece just so it looks like it's effortlessly growing out of her scalp Next, I am toning her. I used Redken Shades EQ 10N and 10GI. I really wanted it to just look really bright. So that is why I used the 10 series. And here is the after. She just wanted me to leave it straight so you can really see the dimension and that bright money piece. It looks so good. back in the car after work and my camera is flashing at me that it is dying. We have to make this quick. I definitely learned a lesson today. Bring my camera charger to work. Both batteries died pretty much during my first client. So fingers crossed the video was at least okay for you guys. I really, really want to step up my YouTube game. We are growing and it makes me so excited and so happy. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I post videos on there every other day. Don't forget to check me out there. Also, if you have any video requests, my brain is literally fried and I can't think of any. Go ahead and comment those down below. That would be so very helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.